The field of image generation has seen significant progress with the introduction of algorithms based on deep learning, including generative adversarial networks, variational autoencoders, and normalizing flows. Diffusion models represent an alternative family of algorithms that outperform previous approaches in terms of quality and diversity. These models transform input noise into an output image through multiple steps of denoising, requiring multiple forward passes. Recent studies have explored alternative procedures for corrupting images in diffusion models, focusing on image blurring. However, it remains unclear what the optimal procedure for corruption is. In this work, we hypothesize that the optimal procedure for corruption corresponds to the shortest path in the space of distributions, which can be computed using the Fisher metric. We contribute by computing the shortest path analytically between Gaussian distributions and proposing an approximation for the non-Gaussian case. The shortest path corresponds to a combination of image sharpening and noise deblurring, and we provide the exact formula for the specific corruption prescribed by the shortest path. We test our shortest path diffusion, SPD, on CIFAR10 and show that any small departure from the shortest path results in worse performance, with SPD outperforming all methods based on image blurring. Our results suggest that SPD provides the optimal corruption. We also test SPD on iMogNet 64x64 for unconditional generation, showing improvements on strong baselines without any hyperparameter tuning. The main sources of errors in diffusion models are the approximations made in reversing the corruption. Therefore, the optimal corruption procedure would be one that minimizes those errors. We reason that the optimal corruption procedure corresponds to the shortest path in the space of distributions, computed using the Fisher metric. Our work sheds new light on observations made in recent works and provides a new approach to improve diffusion models on images and other types of data. The research discusses the concept of shortest path diffusion, which improves performance on image density estimation benchmarks by learning the variance schedule. Unlike previous work, which chose variance scheduling arbitrarily, this approach determines the entire spatiotemporal properties of corruption by the shortest path. The study also explores various improvements in diffusion models, including the use of non-uniform noising procedures, orthogonal wavelets, and the application of optimal transport. The authors derive an analytical solution for the shortest path between Gaussian distributions and propose its application to non-Gaussian cases, particularly to natural images. They provide a discrete time version of the shortest path for numerical purposes and discuss its implementation in the context of diffusion models. The research highlights the importance of the Fisher metric in measuring path lengths, ensuring that the shortest path is invariant to parameterization changes. The authors also discuss the concept of image blurring and its relation to the shortest path, showing that the shortest path corresponds to image sharpening and noise deblurring. Overall, the study contributes significantly to the field of diffusion models by providing a novel and theoretically grounded approach to variance scheduling. Here is a combined summary of pages 5 and 6 of the research paper. The authors propose an image generation method using shortest path diffusion which involves corrupting images with a forward process to approximate the shortest path between the distribution of real images and an isotropic Gaussian. This forward process implies a covariance schedule, and the authors hypothesize that it provides a good approximation to the true shortest path. To apply this process to real images, the covariance matrix of their distribution is required, which can be computationally expensive. However, for translation in variant distributions, the covariance matrix can be computed using the discrete Fourier transform, DFT, matrix and the power spectrum of the data. The power spectrum of natural images is known to decrease with the squared frequency norm, and the authors model it using an equation with an exponent m, which they set to 2 in most experiments. They fit the constants C1 and C2 on the empirical power spectrum of the dataset. The authors provide an efficient algorithm for shortest path diffusion which scales linearly with the dimension of the data. The algorithm involves computing the power spectrum of the dataset, fitting the constant C1 and C2, and computing the optimal filter side T for all T. The algorithm then corrupts images in frequency space using the DFT, and trains a neural network to estimate the mapping between the corrupted images and the noise. The authors also describe an image generation algorithm, 
which uses the trained neural network and the optimal filter to generate images. The authors validate their proposed method empirically on unconditional image generation tasks using the CIFAR-10 and ImageNet datasets. They use the Frechet Inception Distance, FID, to evaluate the quality of generated images and show that their method leads to the best quality of generated images compared to similar methods. The authors provide their code and details of their experiments, including the datasets and metrics used. The research paper discusses the concept of shortest path diffusion, SPD, for image generation, focusing on the optimal corruption filter and its impact on image quality. The authors demonstrate that SPD provides the best corruption procedure by analyzing the power spectrum of the dataset and fitting parameters to optimize the filter. They show that lower frequencies change earlier and higher frequencies change later during the corruption process, resulting in image sharpening and noise deblurring. The paper also compares SPD with other methods, including IDDPM and IDDPM plus DDIM, and demonstrates its resilience across different diffusion time steps. The results suggest that SPD outperforms other methods in terms of image quality, measured by FID, and is nearly optimal for the given parameters. The authors stress the importance of the optimal corruption filter in achieving high-quality images and highlight the benefits of using SPD for image generation tasks. The authors introduce Shortest Path Diffusion, SPD, a novel diffusion model that provides an optimal procedure for data corruption. Unlike previous work, SPD minimizes the length of the path taken by the corruption in the space of probability distributions, which may reduce the effect of errors in estimating the reverse transition probabilities. The corruption procedure in SPD is data-dependent, allowing for flexibility in adjusting the corruption to the given dataset. The authors compare SPD with IDDPM and IDDPM plus DDIM demonstrating that SPD outperforms IDDPM plus DDIM for a range of values 100 is less than or equal to T is less than or equal to 1000. Although SPD does not outperform IDDPM plus DDIM below T less than 100, the FID scores for both methods are poor enough to be discarded. The authors also evaluate the quality of unconditional generation of ImageNet 64 times 64 images using SPD achieving a lower FID score than IDDPM despite having a lower number of diffusion steps and training for fewer iterations. The key advantage of SPD is its ability to provide a unique procedure for data corruption, which can be applied not only to images but also to other types of data. However, the complexity of SPD scales quadratically with the dimension of the data, which can be reduced to linear if a strong prior on the form of the covariance is given. The authors acknowledge that the shortest path is computed in closed form for Gaussian distributions only, and that the assumptions of this study require further testing, for example on higher resolution images, other types of data, or metrics. Finally, the authors highlight that SPD is orthogonal to studies that improved diffusion models by other means, and that combining SPD with these methods may lead to further improvements. They believe that SPD provides a useful tool to advance the progress of diffusion models in generating a variety of different types of data. Here is a combined summary of pages 11 and 12 of the research paper. The authors explore image generation using shortest path diffusion, drawing inspiration from various works in denoising diffusion probabilistic models, score-based generative models, and progressive deblurring of diffusion models. They cite influential papers in the field, including works by Nikol and Dariwal, Song and Ehrman, and Vadit et al. The authors then delve into the theoretical foundations of shortest path diffusion, focusing on Gaussian distributions with zero mean and covariance matrices. They present theorem A1, which states that the shortest path between two Gaussian distributions with non-singular covariance matrices is given by equation 15. This equation describes the covariance matrix at time t, where t measures the relative distance traveled along the path. The authors provide a remark on the special case where the covariance matrix of one of the distributions is equal to the identity matrix, resulting in equation 16. They also derive the eigenvalues of the covariance matrix along the shortest path, which satisfy equation 17. This equation is illustrated in figure 6 showcasing the shortest path between Gaussians using the Fisher metric. The proof of theorem A.1 is based on the concept of Riemannian metric tensors, 
which are used to measure distances between distributions. The authors explain that the length of a curve can be described by the sum of the lengths of its infinitesimal segments, and provide the line integral in equation 18. They then generalize this concept to non-Euclidean metrics, resulting in equation 19. In the context of Gaussian distributions with zero mean, the curve is represented by the covariance matrix, and the authors use this framework to derive the shortest path between distributions. This theoretical foundation is crucial for understanding the shortest path diffusion method and its applications in image generation. The research paper discusses the application of shortest path diffusion for image generation. It begins by describing the Riemannian metric and the length of the curve for the diffusion process. The Fisher information matrix is used as the metric tensor, leading to a length of the curve that is reparameterization invariant. The goal is to find the curve of shortest length, which satisfies the Euler-Lagrange equation. This equation can be simplified, and the problem can be further simplified by noting its invariance for congruent transformations. The matrix F can be chosen to diagonalize the covariance matrix along the entire path. The solution for the shortest path is then found by solving a second-order differential equation. The paper also discusses the forward process, including a theorem that proves the corrupted vector has zero mean and covariance equal to sigma 1 minus t0. This process is used for image generation, ensuring that the generated images are of high quality and follow the desired distribution. Here is the combined summary. In the context of image generation with shortest path diffusion, the time complexity of the power spectrum computation is analyzed. Specifically, the time complexity of the discrete Fourier transform, DFT, and the fit of the power spectrum are quasi-linear, O, D log, D, and linear, O, D, respectively, in the number of pixels D. Experimental results demonstrate that computing the constants C1 and C2 for CIFAR10 takes only a few minutes, and for ImageNet 64x64, it takes approximately one hour on a CPU. Notably, the time required for these computations is significantly less than the time required for training. The complexity of the power spectrum is not worse than the complexity of training implying that the computation time for the former will always be smaller, even for higher resolution datasets. Furthermore, the complexity of DFT scales linearly with the dataset size n, whereas the complexity of the fit of the power spectrum is independent of n. This suggests that the dataset size will not be a limiting factor for this method. For larger datasets, an estimate of the power spectrum can be obtained from a subset of the data. The generated images using the shortest path diffusion model are presented, showcasing the capabilities of this approach. Figure 7 displays example generated images at t equals 500 diffusion steps for models trained on CIFAR10, with the proposed SPD method achieving a Frechet inception distance, FID, of 2.74, outperforming IDDPM. FID equals 4.20, and IDDPM plus DDIM. FID equals 3.74. Figure 8 presents example generated images for a model trained on ImageNet 64x64, 64 64, with an FID of 13.7 at T equals 1000 diffusion steps. These results demonstrate the effectiveness of the shortest path diffusion approach in generating high-quality images.